basically all intersections were uncontrolled. Mm -hmm. Uncontrolled intersections is actually the baseline. And traffic engineers are supposed to consider the option of no signals at an intersection as a solution. In Amsterdam, you'll see that a majority of intersections are actually unsignalized. So it's, it's, it's design specific. So it's not the idea that you use uncontrolled intersection uh, for any intersection. The key in, in most of these intersections where you don't have traffic lights is that you have very few cars. High volumes of cyclists uh, from different directions in a small and a limited space. When you have primarily cyclists, not having traffic lights is a good idea because it allows for a smooth, continuous flow of cyclists. But the point is that you don't want traffic lights because that actually pulsates the traffic too much and it actually creates more congestion. It's a strategy to reduce the cars on the street and that they indeed uh, reduced wait time in half and moved twice the amount of cyclists through the intersection during a set period of time. You're counting on low speeds, so everyone needs to slow down and you're counting on people um, making eye contact and taking turns. It's a very interesting result that, that we found more interaction between car drivers and cyclists than before um, and in more altruistic ways. I think in a world where we need more people to be interacting, these types of situations could provide at least fleeting experiences of, uh, of social engagement. But the human experience, which is what cycling is all about. It's all about, um, you know, engaging with your, with your social and spatial environment in ways that you can't in a car and the ways that you can't when you're in a, in a tram and even um, by foot. There's such a dominant cycling uh, environment here. Sarfati Strat and this particular intersection did not by any means fall into any sort of good characteristics of the intersection to eliminate the traffic lights. The vice mayor for transport said, I want this to be a cycling street because it's part of a strategy to incentivize car drivers to use the existing inner city highway, which is the S110. Amsterdam is a city that's very open to, to changing the environment in a way that supports high levels of cycling really high levels and I don't think that any other city is at that phase but outside of the Netherlands I think that strategy is just not at the point where it could possibly work. What I see as a transfer could be the idea of like residential shared like shared streets, or, but not without traffic calming, which was the very first step that Amsterdam took uh, in creating a safe and bicycle and walking friendly environment. Things like that, I think, may um, may work really well, and we've seen we've seen those types of examples in Paris, in Brussels, um, in other places in Europe, and they've seen success.